Bond Cop, Bad Cop is a buddy cop movie from Canada. It's in a similar vein of 40 hours, lethal weapon, Beverly Hills Cop, those kind of movies. The movies that were sort of prevalent in the late 80s, early 90s, but seems to have died out or Hollywood's forgotten how to make a really good buddy cop movie. Maybe the last one was probably Bad Boys, around about that type of, the first one, that kind of era, mid 90s. Uh, this movie is about two cops from Ontario and Quebec. We have David and Martin, and when a body is found right on the border of these two places, the cops sort of come together and try to decide whose case this is. And initially, neither of them wants it. They just want to give it to the other people. They don't like each other. They have that instant antagonistical nature between the two of them. Uh, David is this sort of stuck up. A Ontario cop who uh, always dresses in a suit, always a little bit smart, but his home life's a bit awkward as well. He's a divorced parent looking after a teenage son who can't really connect with him. Then you have Martin, who is the Quebec uh, police officer, who again has a sort of dysfunctional relationship. He's divorced from his wife, but they still kind of live together and look after their uh, daughter. So you have these two characters who are kind of different, but kind of this. You can tell where this is going, can't you? And it just kind of owns the kind of movie it is. It is a comedy, action, thriller movie whose central premise is really perfunctory because it's just basically about getting these characters together, having lots of fun together and moving on. And in the end, they're going to have to solve the case. That's unfortunately part of the movie. And it works tremendously well. You have uh, a lot of jokes that I'm sure I was missing between these these two places of Ontario and Quebec where they obviously have uh, this sort of disdain for each other. You have the English-speaking part of Canada, you've got the French-speaking part of Canada, which I know nothing about, but obviously they have kind of uh, a sort of oil and vinegar relationship where they don't really admit. But, you know, these two characters are very fun. And it never gives the upper hand to either of them for very long. They maybe have one scene where somebody will have the upper hand and then very quickly it is reversed and the other person has the upper hand. It plays out exactly as you would think it would be. There's a strange murder going on. It's almost like a James Patterson novel. There is a, a killer who's tattooing victims. He's attacking them on both sides of this border. There is a larger scheme at play and these two guys are trying to crack them down. Like I said, dysfunctional families, they come together, they don't like each other, but they kind of grow to have a mutual respect to each other. It's got all the usual tropes in it. You have this straight-laced cop shocked at this uh, blatant disregard for his police duties and yet somehow they manage to work together. They're both very good at what they do. Do you know what? It's very like Tango and Cash. That's probably the most akin thing I can think of. Two cops that hate each other, they had to work together. Yeah, it's very tango and cash. Bond Cop, Bad Cop was pretty terrific. I liked the style of some of it. Some of it felt a bit straight to TV. Some of it felt very good. The villain of the piece is threatening enough, but it's inconsequential to the actual storyline because it's all about the characters and you like the characters. And this movie has lots of comedic moments in it as well that actually land and actually had me like in stitches, pretty funny. Uh, one of the, the first scenes that I thought was great was when the, um, the two police officers are put together and you have their uh, captains talking to each other. And uh, this uh, French captain is, is interpreting what the English one's saying and it is so funny. Just the way he's delivering his lines are absolutely hilarious. I put this on in a whim, just something to kill some time. And I found myself almost nostalgically thrown back into the key era of buddy cop movies. I thought this was terrific. It's never going to be anything more than what it is. But what it is, is a very good action, adventure, thriller, comedy movie that is very Canadian at heart. I mean, the whole plot centres around... No, I'm not going to give that away. It's up for you to, to discover that. I think Bond Cop, Bad Cop is well worth your time. It's terrific. And I hear there's a sequel um, it's out as well, so I'll be sure to check that out. But I gave Bond Cop, Bad Cop a solid three and a half out of five. I enjoyed it that much. I couldn't wait to get to the end of it because I was just having so much fun. I wanted to spend more time with these characters and I will definitely be looking out for that sequel so if you've seen it let me know in the comment box what you thought of it and i'd like to know how it did in canada so if i've got any canadian viewers out there um i know bearded movie guy sometimes checks out these videos so let me know how this did in canada how it represents that kind of um, relationship between the, the various places i'd love to know and i'll see you next time on man versus film